I woke up like a cowboy. I'm the one that they envy like cowboy. Uh. Hey y'all. So today I wanted to vlog. I want to update y'all on what's been going on with me since you know my last video in january so um i'll be also be doing my hair i want to do the pop smoke braids i have it up somewhere on the screen so y'all know what it looks like um and i'm this is my first time ever doing it with like extensions i've been doing it with my actual hair um so we will start to do a part of where the middle of my hair is I've always been bad at like doing middle parts, but I and I don't really like doing middle parts either, cause I have a big forehead and I usually like to do side parts. I don't know. Is this looking like it's in the middle, or is it looking crooked? <laughs> oh my god! All right. So, as y'all saw in the last clip, I was over here. I was hype. I was like, hey, I'm about to do these Pop Smoke raids. Baby, you know, Pop Smoke broke voice. And no, that did not happen at all. I just could not get them in my hair. I could not get the weave in my hair. I was braiding it. I got off camera an hour after filming, and I still was not getting it during that hour when I was filming. So, I was like, okay, let me go to the bathroom and, like, go and film in the mirror. It did not work out. I spent three extra hours trying to do that just on one braid. I had not got anything else. I was just trying to start the one braid, and it still was not working. So I was just like, you know what? It's not something I'm going to give up. It's something I'm just going to put it on the shelf for right now. I'm going to shelf it, okay? And I'll just do it. I'll do it another day, but it just won't be today. So I just ended up doing box braids, as y'all can see. Um, the box braids I have in my hair, it's like 24 to 30 inches. Yes, it's very long. I just didn't want to cut the hair because, um, the ombre. But I will insert a clip of what the hair was looking like. But the, the blue that I have in my hair, it, um, is ombre. So, um... I just didn't want to cut it because then that would have just messed up, like, you know, the effect. But I wanted to come up on here and tell y'all about my updates, what I have planned, and yeah. So Going back to February, I went to a service trip. I usually do that for my spring break. I'm in college, if y'all don't know. And it's just something I've always enjoyed doing, so I just go on that. And it's a good way to spend my spring break instead of just sitting at home. Especially since, like, I'm not going to be going anywhere if I didn't do my service trip. So, this year, I went to Oklahoma. I went to Oklahoma. And there, we stayed with brothers. And we had different options to do different things. But I wanted to help at the school. That's what I usually do whenever I go on these service trips. So, that's what I did. And we did that for a week. We had one free day. And on the free day, we went to a park. And then... After that, we went to this place it's called The Gathering, and I'll just insert some clips of like some things we did in Oklahoma and going to The Gathering.
So then after that, then we went to do another service during our free day. And it was, I can't remember exactly what the name was called. And I still cannot remember what it's called. But we basically fed the homeless under a bridge. And it actually, it was something like that. I think the name was something like that. Um, but I can't remember what exactly the name was. But yeah, that's what we did. And everyone, you could pick like what role you wanted to do. There was like people that were clean up and set up crew. There was people that went to help with passing out food, passing out drinks, the children's area where they had like a table for like kids and like the kids could like read books, do coloring, play with toys, that kind of stuff. And then our um, chaperone supervisor, he was like, in charge of doing like spiritual counseling or prayers with whoever wanted to come over there since he's a brother um, he wanted to do that so I wanted to be the person that was gonna go around and like talk to people and that's like what some people find surprising because like I'm very introverted but it was just like I wanted to actually know these people's story and I found out a lot of interesting things there were some people that didn't want to talk to us and that was fine you know I was not offended at all. I completely understood. Um, and, you know, you don't always want to talk to people. So, yeah, we did that. And that was really nice. It was definitely a different outlook. I had never saw anything like that in my city. So it was really nice to just see, like, that's something that they do. And I think it's every, it's every week that they do that. I don't know how things are now because, you know, with all of this going on. But that's something that they did every week. I believe it's every Thursday that they did this because that was the day that we went we went there on Thursday so I think it's every Thursday that they do that um, but yeah that was really cool so after spring break we were coming back to school obviously and during this week like it was just like a regular week you know and then we got like there was rumors going around that we may be getting sent home because people were getting tested for the virus and <clears throat> the school may be sending us all home so there that was still like in the air nobody had that confirmed but that was a concern for me because you know this is gonna sound like first world problem it is and there was like other people at school that have real issues with this but I wanted to travel this summer and I was working three jobs on campus and it wasn't like it was overpowering my schoolwork at all like they all worked around my schedule Except one, I had to do that 24-7, <laughs> which was being an RA. Um, but, uh, every college or university has their own name for what they call that. So, yeah. What is going on outside? <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I was working three jobs on campus, and I had plans of traveling this summer. So this summer and in the winter as well. So I was trying to save up my money and I needed the money that I was going to be missing out on. So I was just very concerned about that. And there was like people at school, they had like real stuff they were concerned about. Some people couldn't go home. There was people that they had to pay for their car loan or like their car insurance. There was people that had like a lease in like around the school so it was just like okay will that will they even get like a reimbursement on their lease since they have to go home now so it was just like major stuff like people have real stuff that they were concerned about so they weren't too sure like how they were going to handle that and they gave us three days when they finally announced it it was like the weekend they gave us three days to get out and like leave so um we ended up having to go home and the thing that i was very concerned about was like even if i go home besides like the whole trip thing I just felt like I would be too distracted being at home and expect me to like go back to the duties that I kind of had before I went to college and I wouldn't like a lot of people wouldn't view my schoolwork as being a priority so I was just very concerned about that and that ended up happening I like always had to do my schoolwork at late at night and then I had class in the morning um, there was also a couple times where I had to work in the morning online and that was also like it was just a lot of work because like I had classes and then there was a period of time where I had to do um helping with class like when class selection when there's like people that need to help with that so my shift was like at 8 a.m 
and mind you I didn't go to sleep probably like 3 2 in the morning so I didn't really get that much sleep and then on top of that I would have class after that so I would have like all my class after that and then during this period of time I was taking two very major classes for myself so I was taking a thesis class some people call it dissertation and that's just like your final thing that you present your end of your senior year so I was just getting started with that class and then I was also taking an internship class where we had to write a 20 page paper about our internship and um, three key terms so that was a struggle for me I had to do that too and it was just a lot of work and like during that time unfortunately I just didn't get to like communicate with my family as much so that was just another like downfall of that but yeah that's basically like what my March and April insisted of it was just like a lot of schoolwork um, but yeah now at this point that I'm no longer in school this car is really like I don't know what is going on out there but now that I'm no longer in school um, I do still like want to do something for the summer I want to do some type of internship because like the internships that I had applied for they got canceled and at first it was just like oh they got postponed and then it got canceled but now I'm just trying to find like an internship I can do remotely just so that way you know I get some sort of experience and it's very important uh, for my major and just in general like being in college just doing some type of internship so I want to do that and I've always this is just like not even school related these are just like now we're gonna move on to like things that I won't have planned that I want to do I've always wanted to learn how to speak Yoruba I can speak a little bit like very minimum like I can say like my name is or how are you you know just like little stuff like there's other stuff I can say but it's just like not as much as I would like to I can't speak in a lot of full sentences but I'm very good at understanding everything um, and that's very common for like a lot of that have parents that speak a second language so I'm not like oh my gosh I'm just I'm not like I'm not insecure about that at all but I've always wanted to speak that um, I actually downloaded an app on uh, on my phone and it's like has different Yoruba words and uh, I also have like a Yoruba dictionary I want to finish sewing a skirt that I have I have the fabric for it let me show y'all so I want to sew a skirt and then this is the fabric I have and it's just like it's like a very uh I don't even know I was gonna say breezy but it's just like you know it's very nice and I'm gonna do a skirt I want to do like a wrap skirt so it's like kind of like a as asymmetrical wrap skirt and it's not gonna be like oh, I'm wrapping it but you know it's gonna look like it was wrapped and I have like the cutout for it right here so kind of like this one except I don't know I don't really care for this part but if I do the if I do do that style like exactly how it is, then I'll probably um just fold in like this this thick band because it has elastic there, so I'll already be like holding, and it's pretty long too. And I'm only five three, so I don't want it to be like on the ground. But yeah, that's something I also I'm planning to do. You know, because I'm I'm gonna be at home for most of the time, so I want to be productive. So that's something I will be doing. Um, what else did I want to do? I said my internship, I'm learning how to speak Yoruba. I also, besides also speaking Yoruba, I also want to refresh on like other languages that I've learned. I took three years of French. I still know a good amount of it. Um, I'm a Spanish minor, but um, we don't talk about that because I stopped taking classes. But um, yeah I need a refresh on that as well so that's something I'm gonna do I already watch like a lot of um, shows that are in Spanish or in French and that really does help me like refresh too because like it's all oh, I'm familiar with what this word is I've learned this so but yeah I've definitely just been trying to keep busy you know with everything that's been going on I have been hearing so much good news from like other people like friends and family so that's something I'm really looking forward to like all the new things in their life you know it's kind of like a little light in their life right now so yes but I want to thank y'all for watching you know have a good day stay safe and you know we're just here flipping on these haters because baby girl got 30 inches now like subscribe comment
and turn on your notification bells and also watch the last video and stay tuned for the next